Good morning. I'm Jake Campafner, your student body president. This morning, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will be voting for student council officers for the 1999-2000 school year. You will see each of the three presidential candidates and five vice presidential candidates immediately following this. Remember, these people will represent you for the next year, so don't vote because of popularity or because they say something like, let's get it on. So without further ado, let's get it on. Good morning, my name is Josh Mefford and I am running for student council president. For the last two years, I have served as an active member in our student council. It has been a very rewarding experience and I feel that I am now ready to serve the leadership role as student body president. One of my desires as your president is to see more student involvement in our school activities. I found great personal satisfaction in our school activities. Some of the activities that student council has accomplished this year include holiday harvest, homecoming activities, that include the parade, bonfire, and dance, Thanksgiving and Christmas basket collections, staff of the month, senior citizens prom, May carousel, and then of course prom. As student council president, I will encourage all students to take part in these activities because it's great that student council is doing them, but without student involvement, those activities and the positions of student council members are really pointless. I feel that being active in school is essential in learning these traits now to make us better citizens in the future. And as your president, I will do my best to keep all students informed in the areas of opportunity for school and community service. I hope you do not take your voting decision lightly. Don't vote for someone just because they might have some funny signs or that look pretty good to you on Channel One. Vote for the person who you feel best represents you as an individual and as a school. And in your decision, I hope that you feel that person is me, Josh Meffer, for student body president. Thank you. Hello, I am Jessica Worthen, candidate for student body president. I'm not going to make a long speech telling you everything I have done for the last three years of high school. I will, however, tell you that I'm very dedicated to the school and its students. I feel that I have the responsibility and dedication to fulfill the position as president. If I'm elected, I will do my best to make everyone happy. So fellow students, at this time, please stick with me and vote number two, Jessica Lee. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sarah Harris, and I have one question for you. What qualities would you like in your next student body president? Experience? Someone who supports the school? Someone who will listen to you? I'm your candidate. I've been on student council for three years and have had the opportunity to work alongside our past three presidents, Amanda Crabtree, Jeff Klee, and Jacob Campafner. I can best meet your needs because I know how student council works and I can make it work for you. I understand that school goes beyond the classroom. I support the many clubs and organizations that we, the students, can become involved in. I support the sports teams because they promote teamwork. I support the vocational organizations because they are leading our way into the future. I support all of our clubs because they are making a difference in our community. The next student body president needs to be someone who will listen to you. I have been listening. If we work together, we can make a difference. Next year at this time, wouldn't it be nice to attend a track meet at Granite City High School? If we work together, we can have a new track. Wouldn't it be nice for next year's performers of the plays and musicals to not have to worry if the lights are going on or off during their performances? If we work together, we can upgrade the lighting system in the auditorium. How many of you are tired of parking around State Street and Failing Road and having to walk to school in the morning? Why can't we all park by the school? I say we work together and find parking for everybody. I'm Sarah Harris, number three on the ballot. Together, we will make a difference next year. Good morning. My name is John Franco, and I am a sophomore. I am a two-year member of the student council, and I am running for vice president. I am sixth on the ballot, and your vote would mean much to me. Be smart. For a strong student body, let me steer you in the right direction. 
Vote John Franco for vice president. Thank you. Good morning. I am Drew Blaylock. I just flew in from Chicago, and boy, are my arms tired. Sorry. Now, I know you've been bombarded with posters, boxes, and fake money, but that's not what I'm about. I'm about real problems and real issues. If elected as your vice president, I will deliver decisions that will identify with your feelings towards the school. As your vice president, I will make great choices for the welfare of the school and students. I should be elected as your vice president because I am just a regular student and have the same ideas for what this school could be. So today, vote for number seven, Drew Blaylock for vice president. last couple of speeches. But hey, I want to tell you about this dream I just had. All right, come here, come on, get a little closer. Okay, listen up, here it is. I just had a dream that I, Joy McNeish, was voted your vice president. Can you believe it? After a while, I did. I thought, hey, I've had the experience of being on student council for three years and have dedicated much of my time to many clubs, games, and dances. I think I have what it takes to be a good leader to this school. I feel, I feel I have the will and the dedication to be the vice president that this school needs. I'm not saying I want to change the world or anything like that. I just think I can make this school a little bit brighter place. So it is now out of my hands and into yours, the student body. So you can make this dream come true for me. So today on April 28th, don't hesitate to vote for number eight. Thank you. <laughs> And now, Deep Thoughts by Gina Janik. While bathing in the sun one day, the thought came to me on why I was running for your vice president. As I was pondering this thought, I came to the conclusion that the reason was to take and offer advice to our student body. After more deep thought, I narrowed my, some advice to give my fellow classmates of 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003. They were to one, wear sunscreen, and two, to vote for me, Gina Janik, number nine, as vice president. On a deeper thought, may the rain fall softly upon your fields and the sun shine on your face. Thank you for your time and be sure that I'm the one you choose. And on a final note, it's hard to sit on a cactus and study in a, wild, in a den of wild wolves with bacon grease all over you. But hey, there's no need, don't panic because it's easy to vote for Gina Janik. Hi, this is candidate number 10, the most electrifying candidate for vice president, Dave Savage. Dave is the people's voice. If the people want something, Dave wants it more, and you can bet Dave is gonna get it. Dave's been every type of student in the school. From the suck up sitting right there in the front to the guy chilling way in the middle and that guy sleeping way in the back. By the way, wake him up and have him vote for number 10. There's a part of me in every facet of the school, from Vicka all the way up to band. Dave guarantees that if elected, he will not be a bunk vice president and he will live up to his name as the people's choice. So just pick up the people's number two pencil and fill in number 10 on the people's ballot, and you will have a vice president that will never, ever let you down. Dave is definitely the only man, woman, or child who can lead GCHS into the new millennium. And if you didn't know, you'd better call somebody. Basically what Dave is trying to say is that if elected, Dave will make next year the greatest. And when Dave says the greatest, he means the greatest year ever in history. So join the revolution, hide the babies and old timers, because Dave will turn the school upside down and have a year like no other. And if you're down with that, I've got two words for you. Vote Dave. Teachers, at this time, please pass out the ballots to freshmen, sophomores, and juniors only. 
Remember to vote for one presidential candidate and two vice presidential candidates. Think about it and vote carefully. Thank you.